Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a. So y'all seen those clips? I went to the Atlanta Hawks game when they played the Denver Nuggets last night, and I went to the game because I'm like, you know what? I gotta brand my content out. I gotta, you know, I I'm getting feedback from a lot of you know fans out there. I appreciate y'all for the support and basically saying, you know, watch games, you know, and then get get the feedback on what I think is going on wrong with the team. So not only I'll watch the game, I'll wait and see them live to watch. And so we're going to talk about the Atlanta Hawks, right? So in this video, we're going to talk why the Atlanta Hawks need help. So they call me for backup. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back and get with another video. So let's get right into it. Let's explain all in detail from the, the clips y'all just seen earlier and i'm explaining everything that happened so when the game started right this is how the atlanta hawks team play they spread the ball around and they shoot a lot of threes they live and buy the, they live and die by the three ball trey young brings the ball up court he usually does his little dances and everything gets the ball gets the ball to the hole gets the little floaters try to out try to Lob it to Capella if there's if there's an opportunity if Jokic is not there. If not, you got Bogey, you got Sadiq Bay, you got Garrison Matthews. Now I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna get into that. You got shooters around you, right? So they live and die by the three. If Capella's not open for a lob in the paint, if Trayon doesn't have any space to to free Capella up or try to get a, at least a floater, he's gonna kick it out to the open man in the corner. And more than likely, he's going to knock it down or he's going to miss it. So the Atlanta Hawks died by the three. Offensively, Bogey had an amazing night. He had a career game, 40 points, right? 10 threes. He was making everything. He was keeping them in the game. Here's the problem. Now, I know I'm not going to get on the Hawks. I'm actually, actually, I'm proud of the Atlanta Hawks, especially after you know, Trey Young got ejected, which that's going to be another video. I'm getting sick and tired of these reps. And that's another video. But after Trey Young got ejected, I still watched about 10 minutes left in the, in the game. I, I left before like the three minute mark when they started trying to make a run to try to cut the lead down to two points and uh, try to tie the game up. Um, Bogey was hitting shots out, out of this world. So deep base started to heat up a little bit. It was more opportunities for the other players. And it looked like I ain't going to cap. 
it looked like they played better as a team with, without Trey Young. And, and Hawks fans, hear me out when I say that. Hear me out. I know y'all love Trey Young. I, I'm a fan of Trey Young. I like Trey Young. Don't get it wrong. He's one of the top 10 point guards in the league. Maybe top five. The thing with Trey Young is, it's a lot of reckless turnovers for him. When I was watching the game, it's like, He's trying too hard. Like he's forcing a little too much with this team, with with the other players around him. Like for instance, when Capello was down there, sometimes maybe open, but Yogi's was right there to deflect, deflect something or to defend. Trey on which I to lob it up to Capello for for a dunk, but Yogi's is right there, so that's an easy deflection. That's going the other direction. And the same thing when you know. They had Jalen Johnson. Now, Jalen Johnson, Jalen Johnson, and DeAndre Hunter didn't play tonight. So the Hawks didn't have their full squad. I understand that. But I'm just watching, I'm just watching and spectating this game. I'm like, let's see what's the issues with this team. It's it's reckless turnovers. And it and then Denver Nuggets turned the ball over worse than them last night. It's just it's just reckless turnovers, though. It, it's one thing to have turnovers. Like the Denver Nuggets had. It's another thing to have like Turnovers that need to be a turnover. Like, Treyon, I feel like he's trying to force too much. You feel me? You feel where I'm coming from? If y'all Hawks fans, Hawks fans, y'all can understand where I'm coming from. I think Treyon's trying to force too much. If Treyon has the game come to him and have the other players galvanize around him, like, Bogey was going crazy, right? Then I think the Hawks would be a little better. Now, defensively, they're all over the place. They are. They they had Julian Strader who was going who was getting buckets in the first half. He was going crazy, dropping nineteen points in the first half. Right? Nobody was guarding him. He was getting wide open shots every time. It's like they a little lazy. Last of days, last of days ago, on defense, they need to get better at that. And Quinn Snyder need to work work with his team on that because defensively they're not terrible, but they're not good. They're not. good. Now, like I said, the Hawks didn't have their whole squad, right? So it was no DeAndre Hunter, no Jalen Johnson, right? Um, Okongwu, what, what what was his purpose out there? He wasn't really doing much. Wasn't this the isn't this the person that y'all have high hopes for? That y'all thought it was going to ascend to the next level this year? Doesn't look like it. It really doesn't. And I, it's early. He has a lot of time to improve. He has a lot, of, a lot of time to grow. But he looks like he's just out there, not really doing much. You feel me? And Hawks, for y'all to start Garrison Matthews, I get it. Like I said, don't have your school squad. DeAndre Hardy didn't get him play. Y'all got, y'all got to pick somebody up. Free agent somebody. Y'all got to pick up a 3 and D person. Something. Because you can't just have Trey Young and Clay Capella and they're just shooters. You need, other than DeAndre Hunter, at least like a back. Like, y'all should have kept Cam Reddish. I'm going to keep the buff with y'all. Y'all should have kept Cam Reddish. Because Cam Reddish looks like he's kind of ascending for the Lakers. If y'all would have kept Cam Reddish, he would have seen a lot more with y'all team. Because it's a lot more space for for them, this team to grow. You feel me? It, it's a lot more opportunity that Cam Reddish can have for this team. Y'all should have kept him. Y'all need to try to fact, find out a way to look somebody in free agents because I don't know who the person right is right now because there's not many people available right now. I honestly don't like to fit, get, try to get Zach Obin. I know Zach Obin, I don't, he's just another scorer. Zach Obin is a bucket getter, but y'all need a 3D. Siakam, why y'all keep, why is he in, still in the talks but not and the trade talks for y'all to get him. Why, 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 what's taking, what's, I, I'm confused on the Hawks organization. I really am because y'all keep saying, y'all been saying this for a, a year now that y'all going to get Siakam. It still has to happen. Siakam will be perfect for this team. We know that. What's, ta what's the hold up? Please, any Hawks fans out there, let me know. What's, what's the cap room for this team? What's the players' options for the team? What what's the contract 
It's looking like that y'all holding back against Siakam. Because y'all need him. Y'all need him. Y'all have no size. None. I get it. It's a Denver Nuggets. They're the championship squad. But what's going to happen when y'all go against Giannis? What's going to happen when y'all go against Indiana again? What's going to happen y'all against Orlando Magic? Orlando Magic got a lot of size with them. Garrison Matthews starting? I get it. Right. Y'all need to have a better backup than that. Garrison Matthews is a spot-up shooter. Okay? DeAndre Hunter got an epic. Yeah, if he can stay healthy, he got to elevate to the next level. Because y'all are just too small to match up a lot of these other teams, in my opinion. The Trey Young situation getting ejected was bogus. I'll like I said, I'll talk about that in another video. It was bogus. But I do like the fight in, in y'all in the Atlanta house. I do. I... I, I at the end of the day, it was a great game. I'm glad I went to this game. I really got to get to see why this team's not good as they should be. Y'all need more size, and y'all need a 3 and D guy. Y'all do. Y'all need Siakam. Y'all need him. To take pressure off Trey Young. Because if y'all don't get him, y'all going to be, at best, probably a playing team. I hate to say that. And I will go to more Atlanta House games and really critique and critique this team. Uh, Bogey, you had a lights out game. Jamal Murray was cooking. He was cooking, y'all. Jokic didn't really have a great game, man. For Jokic, 25-8-8. But for Jokic, eight rebounds? Because you got Capella. Capella guarding him. You know, Capella's, you know. But other than that, size around y'all. Y'all need to get more size. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm glad I went to the Hawks game. I'm going to go to a lot more Hawks games. Y'all going to see a lot more Hawks vlogs. I appreciate y'all tuning into this video. Give me a touchdown subscribe before the end of this year is over. And I thank you for being your boy Will, and I'm out.